Vanessa Rock, the girl on a bike. Welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be helping you make the most of local areas and discovering new areas to go for a ride. And in this episode, we're going to be doing the Y Valley in Monmouthshire, South Wales, and England, depending on what side of the river you're on. a bike rider there are incredible places that we can ride all over the world and so many of us are thinking about these massive trips and adventures and taking time off or trying to take a massive sabbatical and go around the world but actually one of the really powerful ways to get the most pleasure out of life is just find little things to throw into our life whenever we can and so a day trip out is an awesome way to enjoy your motorcycle, potentially make some new friends, support some local businesses and see some amazing scenery and ride some beautiful roads. And that is what this video is all about, is trying to just make us get up and go out and do a ride. You don't have to wait for the most perfect, amazing weather. You can actually feel it's a little bit drizzly right now. Uh, and that's not because I'm in Wales, because actually we have some beautiful weather in Wales as well in the UK. So I have decided to plan a route. Now if you check out the description of this video you're going to be able to get the full route in two parts on a Google map and it plots out all the different places that I'm suggesting that you stop and you'll be able to discover these roads, the, the cafes, the viewpoints and the things that we're going to be exploring throughout this video. So check that out below and while you're down there, let me know what you think in the comments, say hi and uh, subscribe if you enjoy my channel and I really appreciate anyone sharing it with friends as well. So this is a ride out for a day. It's about two hours, two hours, 15 of riding. So I've made it a shortish day because I'm factoring for the fact that you're probably going to have to get here to Chepstow Racecourse and that's the start point of the adventure. So once you've got here and done the ride, plus stopped for lunch and coffees and viewpoints, it should be a really nice day out. There's loads of places that you could stay if you wanted to, hotel somewhere and come for a longer weekend and make this even more leisurely as, as you like. So Chepstow Racecourse is just over the bridge from Bristol in South Wales and we are at the entrance to the Wye Valley. Now the Wye Valley is an absolutely gorgeous area of the UK. If you're on Netflix you might have seen a program called Sex Education. That is a program that's actually set and filmed here. I say that and they go whoa that's really beautiful. Uh, it is a really nice area. I'm probably I mean getting here is within a couple of hours for me so it's why I thought I'd share it with you because it's somewhere that's not too far away for me to come. Now, the route today is going to take us from here all the way up the Wye Valley on some beautiful roads to Monmouth, going across the Simmons Yacht and then back down finishing here. You could reverse the route and start up in Simmons Yacht and come down to Chepstow and go back the other way, but you can figure all that out. I've put the, the Google map route so you can, you can work it out. Now, for me, I am here on a Harley Davidson breakout. You can see that he is beautifully polished and shiny for the ride because I am so well behaved. Uh, might have been enjoying this bike already this week, so yeah, we're a little bit muddy. You can do this trip on any bike. You could do it on a learner plate, on a little 125. You could do it on a massive sports bike. You could do it on a cruiser. You could do it on an adventure bike. The beautiful thing about motorcycle riding and adventuring is you can do it on whatever bike takes your fancy. Now, I am on my own right now, which is a little bit less fun. Sometimes having a friend is a more fun way to do a bike adventures so i am going to introduce the friend that i have brought along and they are going to join me for the day and that means that when i stop to eat cake and drink coffee i won't be doing one on my own looking like a cakey loser i probably still will but that's fine so introducing my friend annika i gave you such a lead up to the fact that i was going to introduce you and you just Anyway, I was trying to unzip my pocket because, yes, we're going for cake, but I'm pre-prepared with snack in case you get hungry before that. I can, we all know that I throw food at you, so. Right, well, there's Annika. You can go away again. Uh, let's get right in. Okay, first up, we are going to be heading north out of Chepstow. We're going to be taking the Vorden Road, and then we're going to go on the B4293. 
absolutely beautiful twisty and if you look out to the west I love that I can road but navigate across the desert, but I still have to go northeast, southwest. Uh, look out to the west, you can see stunning views across South Wales, including on a really clear day, you can see Sugarloaf. It's just beautiful. The reason I picked this road as our route is because it's got quite nice tarmac, it's got lovely twisties, beautiful rolling countryside, and those views. And it's going to take us up to Trellick, and then Trellick is going to be our first stop. So let's saddle up. Let's ride. at the first major stop of the trip. This is a very British little pub and it is in Trellick. There is a gravel hard park, so the only one warning if you're a bit unsure about being on gravel, maybe don't come in here on your motorbike, but just go really slowly, help each other out. There is a big bit of side road that you could potentially put bikes on outside the front as well, but I don't think gravel kills anyone. Right, we're gonna take the camera off. Uh, I'm not going to leave that sat here while we go in. So let's walk this way. Um, I think it might be coffee in a keg time. Okay, if you make it to the Lion Inn, two recommendations. Number one is very strong, and that is their pork scratching and warm apple sauce. Mm and they're also doing phenomenal pies. But I've never had anything bad on the menu. Oh, a teapot that doesn't pour. This pot has one job to pour. Dribbled everywhere. I feel like I have said all I need to say. I just need to awkwardly take my Invisalign braces out. You might have noticed I have been wearing braces in recent videos. I am a 38 year old who's decided they want straighter teeth. My mentor has been forming. I'm drinking a lovely warm cup of tea. This is a route that has lots of stops if you're doing it on a cold day. Lots of stops if you're doing it on a beautiful sunny day. Just lots of stops. It's a day of eating and chilling, but also some nice twisties. So the next stop is a little bit naughty in Monmouth. We're gonna be having fish and chips by the river. And so we're just balancing out a little bit with some more tapasy grazing. It's basically because we are too late for pork scratchings and they have sold out today. So I asked for the hot apple sauce that you get with pork scratchings to have with my bread in protest. So I'm trying to pretend it's because I'm being healthy. It's not, it's because they ran out of what I really wanted. <laughs> I didn't do every single bike that I have to do you know several hundred thousand kilometers on I always brand them and put the girl on my bike all over them this white beast is full innocent naked, naked. is it even yours if you haven't put a sticker on it <laughs> so this is the street glide Annika's riding and if you're not confident about being on a big motorbike in gravel this is what you do the trick is lots of really slow movements and really gentle on the front brake. The most common drops at this kind of stuff is where you grab the front brake and it bites on the suspension. So super slow and steady and lots of little movements, making sure that your weight is right above your feet so that the, if your feet slide away, that's when you slide. Whereas when they're planted right below, you've got a lot more stability. So. And it's just having confidence. If you're not sure, have a friend stand near you and have the trust of knowing that they're gonna catch you if you need it. So 
it's all right to ask for help. When you get more confident. So, a big benefit of having a friend on a larger Harley Davidson touring bike is that she had my warm jacket in her pannier. So, I'm now going to be warm. Okay, we've made it to our next stop. Um, this is Monmouth. So Monmouth is a beautiful Welsh town. And here is a little river. And just over there is a fish and chip shops, which I suddenly had a panic as we pulled in, having told Annika we're gonna have fish and chips for lunch, that I hadn't checked if it was open. The open sign is on. It's okay. And there are beautiful little picnic benches. So this is where I recommend you stop. You've got really easy parking and this is concrete for anyone not liking uh, soft stuff. Let's go get some fish and chips. Chips de la fish. I want to say a quick thank you to Bikeshore for supporting me with this video. Now, if you have any kind of motorcycle, particularly unique and custom ones, then Bikeshore are worth a call. They do bespoke insurance coverage for pretty much any sort of motorcycle. The best way to work out a price and a covering with them is to pick up the phone, give them a call, and they'll be able to give you the best price they can for your bike. So that is Bikeshore. I will pop a link in the description. And thank you to Bikeshore for supporting me and helping me be able to continue to do what I'm doing, sharing with you here on YouTube. Can she do the tightrope walk of death, which is on a diagonal? No, but I can carry chips to the table. Ah. Whoa. Whee. Stop with a view, economical food, and good dirty food. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, so this is a town that is in Wales. A little bit of a random history for you though. It used to be in England, which is why a lot of the area around here have much more English sounding names. Monmouth doesn't sound too Welsh. Welsh normally has like L's and Y's and W's and words in it. And it is a lovely place if you wanted to extend your road trip to the Y Valley and stay overnight. Monmouth has got everything you could want. The high street's beautiful. It's got an Indian, an Italian, a Mexican, fish and chips, English pubs, cafes. You've got like the boots and the super drug, outdoor places, all of that, Waitrose, Lidl, basically everything you can need. If you want somewhere really average, but you know what you're gonna to get to stay, there's a Premier Inn just over there. My recommendation would be to get on booking.com, Airbnb, and find some quirky boutique little place that's a cabin on the side of a river or a teepee or something like that but it's a lovely place to stop we better keep riding next stop we're going to head over towards Simmons Yacht and we're going to take a completely new perspective of the Y Valley Okay, we've got to be really quiet. We have left Monmouth. We are now in the Forest of Dean. And over here, there are wild boar. You've got to look out for them because if you hit wild boar, 
on a motorbike like this, even a monster hog Harley Davidson is going to have a hard time against a hog hog out in nature. I have seen a lot of wild boar just around this area in broad daylight, middle of the day, trotting across. Literally a couple of weeks ago, I saw nine adults with about 18 baby bar humbugs. So as you're cruising through Forest of Dean, look out for the wild boar. And if you really want to taste a wild boar, there are some very, very nice wild boar sausages, sausage rolls around this area and sausages at some of the pubs. So the first little car park loop jolly that we went on, if you follow the sign, takes you to a bit where you've got a little bit of a walk. If you're in full bike kit carrying a helmet, the accessible par car park is a lot easier. I'm not telling you you're allowed to park here, but I'm telling you it's closer. So we're then going to walk along and it's just beautiful. This time of year there's birds singing and green leaves. But what's going to be most impressive is the view in a few moments time and I'm going to tell you a secret I've never actually been here so I'm quite excited and there's a cafe there's a cafe so this route we've got the the cafe here the lodge cafe which is at Yak Rock the next stop on my route is the paddle fire truck cafe which I just think it's way more boutique -y. it's beautiful coffee, it's just yumminess. Oh, fate has told us this is closed, so we'll 100% go to the other one. But you've got two options on your trip. Absolutely breathtaking stop. I recommend planning to be here for enough time to just take a moment and appreciate life because it's beautiful. If you do have more time to be in the area, some other things that you could do, particularly Forest of Dean Way, you've got Puzzlewood. Puzzlewood is like a magical mystery fairy land. Quite a small little wood, but it's been in Lord of the Rings, Star Wars or Star Trek or whatever the difference those two are. It's been in loads of different movies. Sorry, that was a little poke the bear there. Do you like Star Wars or Star Trek? And can you tell me the difference? Don't unfollow me, please. I'm only bantering you. Anyway, so Puzzlewood, absolutely gorgeous place to go. Be there for maybe an hour. It's probably all you need, but it's a lovely walk around this magical forest. There is a butterfly zoo not too far away in Simmons Yacht. I've not been, there's a maze, but apparently it's pretty cool. You've got Clearwell Caves. Clearwell Caves are pretty amazing. You can go right inside them. They're a old quarry mine that is now accessible. The views are, there's just so much beautiful walking in the front of the, around here too. And there's, there's also Goodrich Castle, which looks pretty cool if you like castles. Um, just don't get locked in it. Don't stay there late at night because they might close the doors and you get stuck in a castle. That happened to me and Alex in Ireland once. We were in this tower and we were looking out the top, similar to this, and we saw the last car in the car park pull away. And we were like, oh, that's weird. We're the only ones here. And they'd locked us in and gone. And we got stuck there for about an hour and a half until we managed to, from the top, scream a runner a really long way away. And they spotted us and ran off. And we were like, well, that's great. We're here for the night. Uh, anyway, they went to get the gatekeeper and they let us out. But we had a good few moments trying to work out how do you climb out of a castle that's designed to be impenetrable. It was going to be scary. Back to the Y Valley. Next stop, I think it's coffee time.
track is gone. We've missed it by four minutes. So this is Kern Bridge, which is on the Simon Yat side of the valley. And there is a little mobile coffee shop that is parked here throughout most of the year, any, most seasons, uh, but it closes at five. So if you're following this route, make sure you get here before five because we just missed our coffee stop. They also do lovely paninis and salads and like brownies and stuff like that, but. Helicopter. So the military do quite a lot of low flying training in the valley. There's another one. You often get the Chinooks coming down below tree level along here. Um, but if we just walk down here, uh, I'm not even going to take my helmet off because I'm sulking that I can't get to the Paddle Fire Truck Cafe. But this is a really great place if you're here and able to go kayaking or stand up paddle boarding or even go for a swim in summer. It is a lovely spot. There is an easy concrete slip into the river. And it's beautiful. You'll see all kinds of wildlife, um, even kingfishers. Very sad. Another thing you can do in this area is the red house that belongs to the mum in sex education is just along the river here too. So you can go and see it. So I say we chin off this coffee stop out of pure bad timing and organisation. Great job, Vanessa. Uh, let's make it to our next stop. So we're going to head towards south down the valley and we're going to do the Y Valley on the riverside now. The way up, we were high. Now we're going to do it at river level, which I believe is about 40 metres above sea level. Something like that, 20 metres above sea level. Weave all the way along the valley and get ourselves to Tinton. Um, and then that will be Tinton Abbey. I feel like I'm shouting at you, so I'm going to take my helmet off. Um, how am I finding the Harley? This is a cool bike. I think the moment I decided I really like this Harley was the moment I decided to flatline it with supercharged acceleration. Um, Harleys are actually meant to be covered in mud. Um, they're not meant to be polished and shiny and groomed. Uh, if you just do it, I know what we should do. Oh, see, she's happy to be muddy. Right, beautiful bike. One bike, two people, maybe she'll give me a lift. I'll stick my thumb out, let's see. It's not looking promising. about tips for being a pillion or riding with a pillion. It's actually a really, really good video. Check it out. It's good because I am the pillion.
Okay, so the old station at Tintin is literally an old station. So they have a train here and you'll see the layout of this coffee shop. It is pretty cool because you have the old railway station platform going down one side and the power, you see how flat it is. And this used to be the railway. But um, Now, if you stop here, they do really yummy treats, cakes and stuff like that, and super good coffee. We are gonna keep going because I um, just got my eye on Tintin and it's about to meet that kind of beautiful light in the day. So we're gonna keep going on to Tintin Abbey, which is our next stop. You all good, Fluffy? All good. Woo. absolutely beautiful and right next to it on the river is the Anchor Inn which has got very very good food. I highly recommend the fish and chips. I know we've already been to fish and chips today. I'm being very stereotypical British but they do a uh, killer fish and chips in here but I pre-warn you the service in this place is terrible. They are incredibly so. I've been in there a few times and it's always the same but the food and the location it's worth it. So we're going to go in and get a drink. Officially being completed because this pub has pork scratchings. Mm. And how long are they gonna last? If I savour it, two minutes. <laughs> taken us considerably more than two and a quarter hours because we have had a very leisurely excited time. I think it has taken us six hours which has been quite pleasant but just to prove that it is a lovely loop we are back at Chepstow. Let me know if you've got any questions in the comments. I will put the route and all of the places that we stopped and the details about them in the caption as well. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know if there are any particular videos or reviews you'd really like me to do and I can try and plan those into the future. I'm guessing some of you are gonna ask me what I think of the breakout. Now, sorry Harley Davidson, my initial reaction was a bit like, oh, what is this? The really wide rear tire takes some getting used to, it handles quite uniquely. But once I started to feel the play of the power in that v-twin i really realized how much fun this bike is it's a massive head turner the amount of people that have complimented how it looks today even covered in mud is quite impressive and i've actually really enjoyed riding it it's comfortable it just takes a little bit of getting used to with its unique handling and this kind of route that we've done in the y valley is suitable for any bike you wish so let me know what bike you would pick if you were going to come and do it and also if you do come and do it let me know what you think. Did you have a good time? Any bits that you'd change? Any bits that you'd add? I'm Vanessa Ruck, girl on a bike. Thanks for watching. Yeah.